Welcome back to Lynx 24 News. I'm Steve Peterson, and joining me today is a special guest as we get closer to Election Day on November 6th. And joining me is the Republican candidate for the 3rd Congressional District, Colonel Ray Bolin. Ray, great having you with me. I know we're getting close to crunch time, and I'm glad you're able to take some time with us. It's great to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity. Well, let's talk about your campaign. It's You call it your call to duty, and you've now gone all over the 18 counties in this 3rd Congressional District probably many, many, many times over the last months. What are you hearing out there from the people out out there, the supporters and the independents that are still trying to figure out which side they're going to vote? Well, I think the theme I hear is very similar to what we're hearing at the national level, and that's the economy and jobs. And um, most often I hear people saying it's time that the federal government learns to live within its means. That's a big concern that this huge debt that we have in borrowing, people are realizing more and more that that's a blueprint for disaster. And so they want action. They don't want business as usual and gridlock. They want people who can step up and get things done. You talk about the out of control spending that we've seen in Washington. Uh, how do we regain control of our debt while still providing that necessary spending for infrastructure and also to keep this country moving forward? Well, the two major components of that issue seem to be reducing spending and increasing revenue. And I like to say increasing revenue because that's a slightly different uh, a topic than raising taxes. Uh, it seems to me that there's plenty of room within the existing tax system to increase revenues among those who are not paying enough or avoiding uh, paying taxes. I mean, it's very disturbing to hear that there are millionaires who may not be paying any taxes. And these reports that approximately 50% of the population aren't paying any taxes. We've got we've to do better than that. Uh, the best answer, I think, in the near term would be a flat tax approach of some kind. Eliminate the loopholes and uh, get people paying what more what they should, and that would bring up the revenue side. On the spending side, there's no question that we have to deal with the entitlement programs. That's been talked about for years. Every analyst says you've got to deal with Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, but then they also say there is not the political will to get that done. Well, I have that kind of will. I want to get right into working with others, both parties, to start developing concrete solutions, not just talking about it. I know you spent a lot of time as the uh, director for Wisconsin, as the Secretary of Veteran Affairs, and you inherited a lot of the same issues that we're seeing from the economic development side with the homeless issue with, with veterans and, and getting them back on their feet when they were struggling and being ignored. I'm sure you're going to take a lot of that kind of uh, experience and successes that you had at the Veterans Affairs level uh, to Washington. Absolutely. And of course, in that 12 years in Madison, I worked every day with members of both parties, and we got some really good things done for our veterans by working together. In terms of the economic side of it, uh, most people are not aware that we operated that state veterans department with essentially no state tax dollars. And what we did was figure out ways to make better use of existing programs and resources, uh, both federal and state, to get more accomplished. So the idea that uh, in government that the solution to everything is throw more money at it is not necessarily the case. We spend more money on health care, for example, and education in this country than any other developed country in the world. And, and by many measurements, we're accomplishing less. So we have got to do a better job and do a smarter job of using the programs that are in place, and I know that can be done. Well, you know, Congress is being known as something of a group that can never get anything done and it's gridlock and it's this for that back and forth. I know you worked with both sides of the aisle when you did things with Veterans Affairs. How do you take that to Washington and try to break that gridlock? You're only one person. Well, one of the expressions I dislike most, and we hear it often, is that Congress is able to kick the can down the road on various issues, the budget, the farm bill, and other things. Well. Throughout my experience, I've, I've never been in the position of being able to do that. I've always been in jobs where I was expected to get it done, to accomplish the mission in the military, to get things done in state government. So this idea of just biding time and kicking the can is unacceptable. And it's unfair to the future of our country and our young people for that to happen. I know from conversations with my good friend Paul Ryan that there are people in both parties in Washington today that do want to join together and get this done particularly balancing the budget. 
So I'm going to be knocking on doors, finding as many of those folks as I can, and I'm going to say, I'm Ray Bolin. I'm here, ready to work to get a solution. You know, I, I've got to ask you about Obamacare because that's always being talked about no matter what debate and, and interviews that are going on at whatever political level. Your impressions of Obamacare, what do we need to do if you get into Congress? Well, there are many, and I, am tend, to, I tend to agree that we need to repeal it and start all over again. Now, the, the, the main problem with Obamacare, I think, is that it is it's unaffordable. It's supposed to be the Affordable Health Care Act. It is exactly the opposite. It will add tremendous new costs to a financial situation that's already grossly underfunded. We know that 40 percent of everything we're doing now is borrowed. That includes our health care programs, and this would add substantially to that. So while there are some good ingredients in it, uh, extending the age for fa uh, family members to be covered, uh, admitting people with pre-existing conditions. Th those are good things. But to take on this monster as it's been presented is completely unaffordable. We should not do it. Well, we appreciate you being here and being part of Links 24 News. Good luck in the election on November 6th. I know you got a busy few days coming up. Thanks, uh, Ray, for joining us. Thank you. Retired Colonel Ray Bolin, the Republican candidate for the 3rd Congressional District in Wisconsin, has been my guest. And we'll be back with more news right after this. If your business would like to advertise with us on the Lynx 24 network, please call us at area code 608-372-2165.